There will be a time when we will wonder how we ever use passwords. And passkeys are the beginning of the end of passwords. Honestly, I don't really know anything about passkeys. <laughs> Let me introduce you to that. Passkeys are an alternative concept to passwords. Let's first talk about the problem with passwords. Passwords tend to be insecure because we mostly imagine new passwords. And not everyone's really great at this. They're replayable because when someone steals your password, they can just use it an infinite amount of times unless you're using two-factor authentication. Then also they are stored on a website. It can be be reverse engineered. And the worst part of it is that one of the biggest factors of hacking actually is social engineering, where you just try to convince someone to simply give you your passwords. And one of the most well-known things is phishing, right? When you send someone an email, it looks like that email from your service provider, but actually it's not. And people just enter their passwords. And passkeys kind of solve all these problems. And on top, what I really love about it, it's a much, much nicer user experience. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> What's the solution? Parse keys, how do they work? Maybe I should just show it by going on this example website, passkeys.io. I don't have an account here, so let me just create my account with my email address and I'll click save a pass key. It will ask me what kind of device I want to authenticate with. So either my computer or it could also be my iPhone or an Android phone and then create a pass key for this device. What this will do is it will actually create a private key on my computer. This private key will be protected by biometric data in a sense that my computer asks me to authenticate myself with my fingerprint or with face ID. It will not actually save this biometric data, but still it's a second layer of protection. So I need to authenticate myself and then it will send a public key to the server and the server will save this public key. And now I'm registered already, right? So the server has the public key, I have a private key, and technically like the server server sends a challenge to my device that I need to sign with my private key. And then it sends back that signature or whatever it's called and then authenticates with the server. So this has a huge advantage that there's actually no password saved on the server, right? It's more like SSH keys where you also do have a private key and a public key. Do you need this biometric data? There are multiple options. When you are asking people to register or authenticate from a server side, you can also say, I don't require it, or it's like my preferred method. So there are different levels of security that you can ask for as a password provider. But typically the most convenient type of pass keys and still very secure one is where you can create multiple pass keys. They will be saved to your keychain of your device. And then the password manager will even sync this private key. So once you have this pass key on your desktop, you can also log in with your mobile device. So it basically means like if you have all Apple devices, you're pretty good to go, right? If you have an Apple desktop and like an Android phone, I'm sure it will be a little more complicated, right? I heard that this is what they want to work on. For example, if you try to create a pass key on your Safari browser on, on the Mac, it even asks you there if you would like to use your Android device to mm. register because right now you can use it across multiple devices already. Let me show mm -hmm. that. Let me like create a new pass key, but this time I want to use a phone or tablet and then it will show me here a QR code. I can then scan that with my phone and then I can create a passkey on my phone, right? Mm -hmm. In an Apple native way or did, did you need to install an app for that? No, that's absolutely okay. native. That's a native password manager. I didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. And now I have this passkey on my device. And now let me sign out and let's have a look at the login experience and say sign in. And now I can either directly sign in with the passkey from my computer. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is like click continue authenticate and I'm in. Mm -hmm. Like I don't even need to enter a username. This is just like one click, sign me in and it's like confirm mm -hmm. and you signed in. Now let's log out again and sign in with my phone. So let's assume this was on a computer of my friends and I can still say sign in, use different device, use phone or tablet. And then I will again scan this QR code. And then on my device, it will ask me if I want to sign in with this passkey that is saved mm. on my phone, actually. And then 
it will authenticate on the desktop computer. But once I'm logging out of that computer, there's no relationship, no password ever was saved on this computer. Wow, yeah, that's super nice. Questions? Yeah? Can I yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What about sharing pass keys with other people? It's possible. For example, on iOS, you can share your pass keys through the password manager, but you can also use AirDrop to share your pass key with someone else. You cannot send it via email because that will be insecure kind of. It's really more like almost like a physical key. Mm. You create keys, you can create duplicates of keys and so on. Uh, so it's just the key. It's just like a much more secure type yeah. of key than a password. For personal use, this is uh, awesome. What about in a business context? We use a password manager in our company, right? It's one password. Do they support pass keys? Can yes. you use them, store them in one password and put them in a vault where multiple people have access to? Absolutely. You can create and store them there. And when you go to the website, one password will pop up. Hey, these are your four accounts for this website. Which one do you want to use? You tap it and then you're signed mm. in. And 1Password is currently working on a solution to actually log into 1Password with the pass key. That would be super nice because I always hate the master password, right? Yeah, right. It seems like uh, I need to also switch to pass keys. Absolutely. And like, seriously, this is going to be the future of passwords. And actually, there are quite a few uh, providers who support this already. There is this website passkeys.directory. I think it's uh, yeah provided by 1Password and shows you all the providers that support pass keys already. Now I'm really interested in uh, how to get this to work with WordPress and also how we can say all the websites that Bleach develops are accessible with Passkey. I guess that we can talk about this in the next episode. Absolutely, we'll do that. Mm -hmm.